Hashem, you mentioned a level of friendship in the khutbah. How can a person attain that level of friendship? With who? Among, among us. Between. Good. Good. You start. Yesterday we were here for the sohbet. Were you listening? I listened last week. Okay. And so what was I saying? Very last part. Directly connected to this friendship. Friends. You remember? Anyone remember? Oh, you're not here, huh? None of you. Yes. No. No. The last word that I said. <laughs> uh, but this one, uh, he likes taking beating. But this one, <laughs> he likes to be a friend, trying to help. But no. You're talking about how to say a question again. Maybe I will, yes, will remind I, people. How can we attain the level of friendship that you mentioned in the khutbah? How can we attain the level of friendship that we're mentioning in the khutbah? In the khutbah? And I ask you, what kind of friendship? You say amongst um, us. Among us, yes. The murids. Right. So the level of friendship, friends. And there's something that I said, yes, last night. One of the last things that I said that is directly connected to this. People always what? Look for and they complain because they don't have a best friend. No one is being a good friend to them. Yes? And what did I say? Don't do that. Don't look for a best friend. Be the best friend. Don't look to say, oh, where are the people to help me? You help. And when you help, do it for Allah's sake. You don't help hoping you're going to have a friend. That will come. But it's all for Allah's sake. Do it for Allah's sake. So to attain that level of friendship, you have to be a friend now to someone. What is that level of friendship now? That level of friendship is to know your friend. To know. First, you must have knowledge. How is he? Sick? Well? He has money, he's hungry, he's in depression, he's busy. Everyone is busy with themselves. Oh, I'm so busy, I'm depressed, no one is saying to me. You understand this is very wrong and it's very American. Look to see who is there. Be concerned for Allah's sake, for the Prophet's sake, Allah said to us, and for the sake of Asha. Once you start doing that, you develop a skill. Now you can pick up, you know. And then whatever that you can provide, it may not be much. But at least you know. You joke around, you smile, you do something. Not empty, he he ha ha, ha ha, every night. Huh? But you know there is something there. Behind all of that, there is a purpose. So first you have, must have that knowledge. To have that knowledge, first you have to have an interest. right? Then you must have that knowledge. Once you have that knowledge, then you must care the person. Why you must care for this person? This person is a murid. He is representing like this or like that our share. He is our sheikh's emanat. You have to care. Then you know you have to be fair. Doing so many wrong things, right things are also there. Once you have the knowledge and you care, then you have to act on it. You have to say, how many times in a month I even give salams to this person, general, specifically? How many times a month? Or just, eh, salam alaikum, it's like that. How many times a month I sit down with this person just for five minutes and just to talk? How many times a week? So you don't have knowledge. There is no interest. Then you're going to say, okay, this one I must try to find time. This one also. This is also I must try. There's something I can do. Chef Handy likes to say this so many times. Just give presents to each other. Give presents to each other. See, I got present today. Alhamdulillah. And I give present too. Because it builds good relationship. Which means it doesn't have to be something that is so grand or big. Just something from your heart. 
And then you realize, oh, this one, this one is good. He actually likes pizza better than perfume. I'm going to get him pizza. Not that I want it. I'm not saying me. I guess that's good. But some people, you know. Mesut knows that kind of people, right, Mesut? You're not sleeping, Mesut. I say people who like pizza. They prefer pizza to perfume. You know those kinds of people? Mm -hmm. Driving, you know, reaching out. So then you, you start caring and you start saying, okay, this one is different, this one is different, this one is different, this one. Then you keep up. You keep up. You start taking care. Because you're doing that, why? Because you see a sheikh doing that. At that time, that person becomes an imanat for you, a trust. You start looking at everyone, especially for men. Women, a little bit different. Different meaning you have to have more of that, not less. Because you're mothers, you have that instinct that Allah puts there. That men, you have to go deep down and knock wall to wall to find that instinct. Yes? Because as Shaykh Fendi is saying, Shaykh Mulana is saying the men's heart, they are like stone. The women's hearts, they are soft. So you have to go through a lot. The stone, you have to break it, break it, break it to make it soft. So now you are, this one, you say something wrong, you must mend it. This one, like this. Is. So it's like that. Then you will come to the level of friendship that your heart starts working now because you're using your eyes. You understand? You're not just imagining and waiting for a dream or a sign to come to you about this. So no, use your eyes. The five senses have to be good. You use your ears. You listen. You say something. You do something. When that is honed, that is really sharp, then other things they will release for you. All right? That's all. And then that level of friendship amongst you, then they watch and then they say this one, good, starting to carry certain responsibilities. All that is the responsibility of the sheikh. He starts carrying that, good. Then bless him more, open more things for him because he's making the sheikh's work easier. Then the sheikh can do other things. So the work of the sheikh and the honor that comes with it is not something that the sheikh is holding, not, nobody can touch. No, someone who's trustworthy, they give. They want to delegate everyone if it's possible because there is so much work. But they're seeing not too many people stepping up to do it. Okay, yes. Bismillah. Sometimes we want to help, but we uh, become a hindrance rather than a... That's why you need to consult, because you need to know how to help also. When he's talking about amongst us, it's very specific, because I know him. He's here, da da, da. Okay? When you... Once in a blue moon, I see you. Um, who you mixing around with, this and this, so your context is different. All right? Even if your context is here, but because you don't come that much often, I know where you are. You want to help, but sometimes you don't know how to help. Sometimes, yes, like you said, it's a hindrance. Because of that, you have to consult with us. Then you have to say, um, this one is saying um, he needs some money, and he needs a wife, I want to help him. I have a lot of money, I want to give it to him, and I know some people do want to get married, so you're giving it. But maybe that one doesn't have permission to even ask from you. Definitely people here are not going to ask. If anyone asks you for money like that, you let me know. We're not that kind of a place. You understand? But you trying to help, maybe you're going to go against it. How are you going to find out? Just consult, talk. This one is asking, is it okay, is it not? Maybe it's okay, maybe it's not. Hmm. You understand? And there's a follow-up question. <laughs>